there. My name is Donna Wentz and I am a breast cancer survivor. I will have been um, free and clear of cancer for six years on October 30th in just a few weeks. And I just want to let you know a little bit about my story. Um, nobody in my family had a history of breast cancer. It never crossed my mind. Um, I was diagnosed after finding a lump on a self exam at the age of 39. Um, I had not had a mammogram yet because I was not old enough. Um, they started at 40 and I had was diagnosed at 39. So um, after I found the lump, I went to my gynecologist and asked her to, you know, see what she thought. She referred me to a breast surgeon. Um, I went through a conglomerate of tests from that point on. Um, test one week, results the next. It was just um, back and forth, back and forth um, for about six weeks. I had MRIs, I had CAT scans, I had um, uh, in a, a, a mammogram, which I had never had before. Um, and then I had to have a um, mammogram where they actually did a biopsy during the mammogram. Um, after all the tests, it turned out that I um, was covered in tumors, um, breast cancer tumors in both breasts. Um, my lymph nodes already had cancer in them. Um, about six weeks after my diagnosis, um, I had a bilateral mastectomy. Both breasts were removed. All um, lymph nodes in my left arm were removed and half of the lymph nodes in my right arm were removed. Um, I had a recovery from about for about six weeks and then uh, started chemotherapy. Um, started chemotherapy on December 4th, right before Christmas. And um, my second chemotherapy treatment was on Christmas Eve, which is really strange. Um, but by then I had already started losing my hair. So my husband and I went and his mother is a beautician and we shaved my head and it sort of put me in some control. I, I didn't want to just lose my hair on my own because the chemo was taking it. I wanted to take it because I wanted to take it. So, um, I went through four, um, really tough chemotherapy treatments. They were every three weeks and um, they call it the red devil. Um, it's a red medicine that goes directly into your body. And so um, it was tough, but I was tougher. And so we, um, each time I had chemo, after chemo, I would go to the mall and walk to the top of the mall and walk the floors, not in a hurry, just to push this stuff through my body and get it out as fast as it could could get out and I uh, went home and would rest a little while. Um, I did continue to work. I was out of work for a few days after chemo, but then I would work the rest of the time. Um, when I didn't go to the mall to walk, I'd go to the gym and get on the treadmill after chemo. Um, I, I found my motto was more mind over matter. I, um, I kept my, my head straight and wasn't going to let it, uh, things get the best of me. Um, I had two sons. I, I have two sons and at the time they were 14 and 18. And I, I knew in my head that I may die, but they weren't going to know that I was going to die because they were going to say, mom looked like she felt great because I, I just wasn't going to let them see me laying around and, um, feeling sorry for myself. So, uh, continued to work. My youngest son played baseball, never missed a game. Even if I was sitting in the car watching, I never missed a game. Um, I, when the summer was following summer came around, I started radiation, um, was doing radiation every day. Um, after work, I would leave work about three or four o'clock in the afternoon, go to radiation and then go home. Um, that was tough. Just physically just going to the doctor every single day to get radiation. Radiation only took five minutes, but it was um, it was every day. Um, and by that time I was continuing a, um, a treatment on chemotherapy, but it was a lesser medicine. It wasn't as tough on my body as the first round was. 
Um, so by February of 2016, which was about eight, about almost about 15 months after my first surgery, um, I had finished all my chemo res regimen and um, all my um, radiation was done. So I began the reconstruction process. Um, I chose to have a deep flap where they take your um, stomach tissue and recreate your breast. Um, it's in layman's terms, kind of like having a tummy tuck. So um, not the way I would have liked to have had a tummy tuck, but I did do that. Um, I had to um, have a couple of touch-ups um, done, nothing major. Um, I ended up having um, my tattoo. I had tattoos put where the nipples were. They, they, it's an amazing thing that they do. Um, the color and the um, to make the breast look as normal as possible. And I, um, I, I'm very pleased with how everything looked turned out. Um, I celebrate every year um, being cancer free. Um, I find that actually October Breast Cancer Awareness Month is actually tougher on me than the other 11 months of the year, um, only because I think that it was the, the month that I had everything done. And um, I love Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but it's, it's emotional. Um, I love talking to women who have been diagnosed. I freely give out um, phone number, emails. I love talking to women, um, helping them with anything they have, going through um, treatments or surgeries or making decisions, um, just giving them all the options that they have. Um, and I'm thankful that I made it through all of this uh, with family and friends and by the grace of God um, and lots of love and prayer. And I do owe all of my recovery and my healing to God and never take a day for granted. And um, so that's my story.